Hey guys, my name is Josves and this is our brand new weekly show, The Walking Dead Definitive Series. Every Saturday I'll post one video. If you want to see it before Saturday, just join our Discord to see all YouTube movies one day early. I never played this game before, only to check out the controls. I heard a lot of good about the game, so let's check it out. You guys have fun. And if you have fun, make sure to like the video so I know you're having fun. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Less than three guys, let's go! Graphics are amazing, just like the comic. I haven't read the comic by the way, but I've seen pictures. So the story is new. Come on, give well, it to me. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Did what? Okay, we have uh, little time to make. A decision, you know what? I'm gonna keep quiet. Huh. Nope, definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. I'm gonna keep quiet. I don't like cops. Mm, but you don't talk too much, do you? Nope. I want to escape. How to escape? I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Okay. You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop when you in the seventies. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, okay. the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife what? in Athens? Shh. Don't want to you talk about my wife. See okay. Gonna play quiet game again. <laughs> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Fuck you. <sighs> Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. <laughs> Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not telling who got to stop. Baby on That's an government airplane. property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. <laughs> so he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Okay. Man. Man? Man. <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. 
I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say Ooh, so. Oh, oh, what? Okay. Oh, yeah. The Great Escape. <laughs> Okay, that's gotta hurt. They're all zombies out there. This could be a zombie outbreak, boys. Are there any zombies in this game? The Walking Dead. Definitely. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah, fuck. My leg. That's gotta hurt. Where the fuck is he? Ooh, that's not good. <gasps> Why the hell did he have his gun out? Well, to shoot zombies. Hey, hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Well, he's dead. It's gonna be a zombie, yeah. Uh, anytime soon. Use the mouse to look. Oh, ah! Kick it, kick it real good. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Oh, like this. The quality is really high. I like it. Ouch! Damn. Use the forward key to move along the car. Okay. I can do that. It's not too hard. Let's get the shotgun. First the things first. Yeah, 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 but I have to take it. Looks it doesn't empty. sound good. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah. Okay, take the shell then. Just pick it up, man. And the officer should have the keys to my cuffs. Yep. Open this. Come on. Come on. Don't be a pussy. Just open it. What's that? Officer. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. I was expecting that, but also not. Where's that gun? Get away from me. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, thank God he's doing that. Uh, come on. Blast his head off. Whoo. Okay. <laughs> that works. Damn. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. <laughs> hey, who's that? Is this? I saw the, this girl Help! before. At least a picture. There's been a 
shooting! Shh. Uh oh. Get the hell out of here. This is me in real life. Clumsy as fuck. Oh, this is not good. Jump over the fence. I can't do anything. Whoa. Okay, these types of zombies cannot climb fences. Good to know. Okay. Hello? Anybody? Well, let's see. A tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> oh, I can talk to someone. Talk to Treehouse. Anybody up there? Nope. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! Okay. Well, I think we are going into the house then. I wonder if anybody's home. Sliding glass door. Okay, let's try to do that. Okay, open it. Hell Coming yeah. in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah. Hello. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. No, I'm speaking. I'm not saying R. Okay. Ooh, a unicorn. Well, someone is died. Has been died here. Has been died. Has been died. Whoa, voicemail. Please 
Well, I don't think I'm safe. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's uh, sad. Daddy? Huh? Daddy? Are you in the drawer? Nope. She's in here. But no, I'm opening. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a smart little girl. Hello? You need to be quiet. <laughs> you are talking to me. <laughs> I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. <laughs> Good. Now what? What's, What's your name? name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Uh, hi, ah. Clementine. I'm Lee. Your mom, mom says hi. I know where your parents How old are. are you? They are dead. Eight. And you're all alone? G-E-D. -E yes. Dead. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. What? I'm younger. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's ah. Hard. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, that's the little girl uh, from the forest. <coughs> Boom! Oh, cute, 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 cute. E Whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Give me that hammer. Spamming Q. Spamming E. <laughs> yeah, eat that, bitch. Again. <laughs> Ooh, what a relief! <laughs> what a relief, man. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Did you kill it? Well, I think it's dead. Um, I something think else something did. Something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what happened. You've it been wasn't me. All by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Uh, I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. That's nice. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. You choose the safety of daylight. Yeah, of course. Let's go. Stay close oh. to me. She's thrusting me right away. That's uh, that's nice. But what to do now? What are we going to do, Clementine? 
Okay, this is running for now. <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking a bit hard. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Open gate. Oh, hey, people. Man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Or should I go? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um, your parents are dead. Uh, they, w they won't. <laughs> they won't. Let's go. go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Let's be harsh. Just to be sure. Just to be hey, clear. Man. Holy we are... shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Don't eat us. For a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need okay. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you yep. should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. Nice this to meet you, Sean. I'm Chet. Hi, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... <laughs> Her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are <laughs> out of town. Sean Let's thinks you're going. the babysitter Staying now. Okay. For too long is a mistake. Babysitter. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Let's push it. Push it real good. The zombie. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. <laughs> okay, we're out of here. Check. And it's night. And we are on the farm. Are we? Yeah, almost. With a red barn, how hey, original. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Okay, bye. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your yeah. boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. It's oh, not my not daughter. His daughter. He's the babysitter. I'm Honey, the babysitter. Do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty You're bad okay. there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Nice.
He has some bandage. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts, it hurts like, hell. like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't say my name. <laughs> I, didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. <laughs> it's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. Brandon I'm Herschel Lee. Green. Herschel. Okay. Nice to meet happened. you, Herschel. Car uh, accident. I, I did and lie. So, where are you headed before the car accident? To jail. <laughs> I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. You're nosy. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. <laughs> I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another I love displaced the family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. It's Clementine. Clementine. Can't Clem imagine Clementine. what you've been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit, shit. hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Well, Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead got people. Chased by a couple of Walking. dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll Kill probably you. just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It Such smells nice like... People. Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. You said a bad that. word. That was a swear. A swear? <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. I'm Basically. not her I'm dad. Kenny. I'm the babysitter. Dad, no Come on. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. <laughs> duck? Yeah. Duck? Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Uh. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and 
personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Doc, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. She can speak that for herself. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. Hello, catch hey girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? No? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. <laughs> the things Doc don't went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? I love that name. This could all be Providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used uh, to teach up at the University of Georgia. Uh, we need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, that was short enough. Okay, what to do? We have to talk to the other uh, people. They are not in here. Let's see if they are on the tractor. Ah. Hey, Doc. <laughs> Reminds me of my son. <laughs> Nice. I can can't I talk? Oh uh, of course How you doing, I can't talk so good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the US farm bill though. I'm good. <laughs> how are these things I'm to good. drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than uh shit. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd say be no, great. Say no, if say you no. Cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy just shot him right in the face. That's harsh. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. No, it's like in the comics. Did you have to do it. Ah! Do what? Kill. 
Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yep. That bastard. bastard. Poor, sh <laughs> poor girl's brains here. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, that looks like shit. Think this thing will keep him out? Nope. Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. <laughs> we'll lock this place up good. I love your sarcasm. Hey, Lee. <laughs> need a hand? hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh. Whoop. Let's go to the other guy. Ah, there he is. Kenny! Hey there, uh, Kenny. Hey there, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? Where to start? Well, I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? <laughs> I have no, I have idea. no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> At least you're honest. Shit. Yep. <laughs> Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. That's 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 true story. Watch so what's your family's plan. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. A boat. boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Well, the Walking Dead are not swimming. How's your son doing? Good, I right? think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Okay. Well, um... Ah, Herschel. That was his name, right? Yep, yeah, Herschel. He doesn't trust me. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, true story. Worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was a man to that, sir. Yes. A man. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? They're all dead. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. True story as well. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. I just got a second you're chance, man. To depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. 
Whoa. Go! I'll get my gun. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh no, not duck. Not duck. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm going for duck. Every everybody will do that, right? Right? Take that! There's there's still time. Come on. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, Herschel. Well, I couldn't let Duck die, right? No. no this is a... Yeah. I'm sorry. I got goosebumps. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry? That's all no I am. damn good. Please, just go. Get out! Um, and never come back. You better shoot him through the head because, well, he will turn. <sighs> You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, that's the least you can do. You just save your son. Oh man. This is harsh. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Clayton. Clayton office supplies. Oh, it's the city. Well, they have drugs, at least. Look. Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Shut the fuck up, dude. Fuck. Duh. Whoa. Hey. Run. Who are you? And we have a guy. And a girl. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? Oh, there's also duck. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in just a go. second. Then just go. <laughs> oh, sorry. They've got kids, Lily. <laughs> Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join <laughs> just go. You have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. You'd be the holy One shit. One of them is bitten. 
He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. What the? No, 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 no. Body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten short. This oh, guy has to go. We him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Kill him. Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. Well. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Yep. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, this game is sponsored by GF. With one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten Sit alive. Down. Or else. It. You're gonna whoop me? You and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. What the I'm fuck is wrong with this dude? Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, uh, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. And get Indeed. ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. Not He's not. Happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me though because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> Oh. No, it's not Jesus. <laughs> no. Oh. Man. Whoa. I was spamming Q very hard. You okay? Thank you. I'm okay. Thanks. Just great. Thanks. Uh, guys. Oh shit. Whoa. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch in a helicopter. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Yeah, please ah! die. Ah! Dead? It's her dead. Was he the one bitten? <laughs> Kill him. No, don't be Off crazy. with his head. His heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Well, and if I... What are we looking for? Do it. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy I and look just, for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I don't want to save him, to, to be honest. The store isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great. Great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. <laughs> here's a walkie-talkie. 
You won't need it. Cool. Clementine Are we calling those you. things still walkie-talkies? As as what? And you? Are you 12? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. LNG bar. Let's take that. Examine the radio. With there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. No Nothing. power. Battery? Aha. <laughs> there are no batteries in this thing. There's Nothing? your answer. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. Nope. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Well, batteries. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those <laughs> creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parents' basement sort of way. Huh? The parents' oh, basement nothing. sort of way. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. <laughs> Um, let's talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> not suicidal yet. No, thank you. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Okay. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And let's... we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary... Let's bully with him. Agreed. Great idea. Jesus. Well, perhaps are there are batteries outside. Yikes. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. I can't reach that brick. There's nothing in here. It's a combination lock. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Let's save him. Oh. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Could be a drugstore employee. He is. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Yep. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and 
Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Lee's brother? He's my... He's my brother? We proved that that guy worked here. And then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Oh my. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Shit. That's really my brother. That sucks. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Well, that turned out to uh, great. I can't reach that brick. Okay. Going back inside, then. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay. Now I should prove that my brother worked there. But damn, that's uh, really harsh that that is my brother dead. <clears throat> Wait, are those my parents? Oh, damn. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> ah, we there's the bathroom. Anything happened to Ducky? I know, hon. Okay, let's fix the radio first. This battery should fit the radio. Oh, it's only one. Great, thanks. We need two. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Hell fine. no. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Well, here you have uh, a it's candy bar. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine, of course. Of course. I'm a good babysitter. I'm damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. There's nothing on the shelf. Oh, another energy bar. I'll give that to Duck. Another energy bar for myself. Oh, wait. I'll give that to the Dick. The D E C K. Dick. How's he doing? 
I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, well, he seems like a Larry, yeah. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Oh, he's just a dick. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's, He's got, got a temper. A temper. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. Dick. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thanks. That's nice. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, this place is... Off my Did you know anybody daddy. here? Yeah, yeah. Me. the owners, they were... Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. No comment uh, on his side. Another cl energy bar. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. Hell yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, me too. we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Of course. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? How should I know? <laughs> She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. <laughs> She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? I can She's go all days surviving asshole. on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? At least I'm honest. They uh, own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? <laughs> we're you just guys fine, all right? Considering. <laughs> oh. How about you, Duck? I think it's a fuck. Through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Get over it. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. 
We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Indeed. Console. Try to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Did it? Did it? I'll shut up. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those now. things out there? It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. That's me. That's how I am. Sweet. I'm so sweet. Let's go see mommy and daddy. His eyes. I think this is proof that my brother is working there. Yep. Ah, that's sad. What Find happened, anything? man? Why did I do I that? I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> okay, I like you. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? The world has ended out there. <laughs> who cares who I am? Indeed, who cares? If you don't think cares? people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I'm okay, sister. To. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. I trust you. Don't worry about it. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Ah. First aid kit. Take it. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Luckily? Yeah, you can look at both ways. This door leads to the back alley. So, no batteries in here. Let's talk to Clementine for a sec. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Indeed. Yeah. He's a dick. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Yeah, we're gonna try. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Oh, I saw the, this. Well, 
What's that? A broom? A broomstick. A cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you okay. Had. Remember that. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. We gotta clear this door from when we found the keys. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? <laughs> that just smoothed this thing. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Indeed. All right, Smart girl. <laughs> Smart girl. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Uh-oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Oh. Let's see if we can do something about it. Bandage finger. Yes, please. Let's hope that a dick is not saying anything Me? about that. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Yep. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Just give her we some hope. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, let's watch that dead TV. Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, wait, the remote. There should be, um... Batteries in the remote. The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> A hero, maybe. Or protector, at least. Yeah, blah blah. Open the drawer. Remote. Yeah. 
It's the remote to my dad's TV. Open it for the battery. That's what I figured. Nothing. Let's open the door to the pharmacy. The keys are on that zombie out on the street. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's prove that that's my brother and that he, that he works in the, in the pharmacy. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, nope. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. I'm sorry to be so fake. Not her daddy. Whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you. All right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs> I could use a jog. Let's give her some food. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Yeah, it's a candy bar. It's sweet. Okay. What? There's a battery. Okay. Let's put that in there. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Okay. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Come Let on. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. You have to put it on. <sighs> Nothing. Figure it out, huh? What? Uh, well, Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. She probably put the batteries on the wrong way. Yep. Uh, people always do it wrong. <laughs> Just read it. Sure. I'm an 80s dad. <laughs> and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, How are we doing? 
good. Want to go have a look around outside? God bless you all. Um, let's have a look around. Okay. We can do that. And show them the picture. Ah. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Nice. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Okay, and then I can take the bus or the key. Let's try. Hell yeah. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say <laughs> it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. Okay, that's a nice destruction. Searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Oh, check this photo. Shit. Let's head back inside. Okay. Yeah. First we have to save the other guy. Um, I'm ready. Hey, Carly. I better get back to it. Yep. I'm giving Thanks you a... Uh, don't mention it. A bar. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Here. I Have some food. Some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Thanks. I'm doing my best. I can't show him the picture. That's annoying. Um, we are going hey there. Uh, out. Come on. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go save him. Get down. Whoa. You are ugly, sir. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Yeah, girl. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay. But how? And why? We have enough people as it is. That's a long way to go. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now 
Let's have a look around. Okay, let's kill some. Uh... Peek over the wall. Oh, 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 go back. Close. Nothing. Oh, there is something. One, two, three. We can hide by that RV. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. Okay, that's something. Yeah, let's move to that RV. One back there, trying to get into a room. Didn't see anyone actually in there. I'm not sure I can take them both on myself, even if I had a weapon. Okay. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Well, we're not naked. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Let's... Okay, let's head back. They really want to get into that room. Okay, let's go to the truck. Let's see if there's something in the back of the truck. Because I... Need a weapon. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I was wondering that myself. So let's check it out. Oh, there, there's something. Don't think, ow. just ow. Hey man, <laughs> that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay. Um, now what? This again. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah. I probably go into the back of the car. Is that an option? Not like this. W and up is the, doing the same. That's odd. How are you Kay. going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? I'm doing my best, uh, Denzel. The There's nothing else, right? I missed something. I missed something. Uh, okay. We are moving back to the brick wall. Let's see if I can select to go in the back of the car. That's annoying. It's only that our feet. Oh, pillow. I haven't seen that before. Good luck smothering them to death. <laughs> That's not really what I have in mind. No, I'm with you, pal. I'm with you. Truck. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, brother. Let's put the pillow on. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Wait and see. Tricks for getting into cars. Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Done trying to punch out windows. What? Yeah. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. Okay, I probably have to talk with her about. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. It is quiet when we are using the pillow. Damn! How? Oh. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Okay, should we smother him? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just yeah. follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Smothering a zombie. <laughs> That's new. That was sick. <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's something inside that we can use. Spark plug. Just take it. Don't think, take the spark. Let's put it in gear. Sparky thing. Spark plug. And sparky you thing. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. What I said. Indeed. And now, push the car. So that one is dead. Oh, and there's an axe. <laughs> that was indeed awesome. Use a spark plug on the window. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Oh. Okay, I learned something. That's nice. Okay. It's like this. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we're going back. Oh, this is very nice. It's uh, really like a point and click adventure from uh, the early days. I like it. I really like it. Let's go high to the RV. Here's her brain. Not from here. Oh. Well, wrong place. Up oh, in the eye. Nice. Oh, whoa. Quickly. Quickly. In the eye as well. Nice, nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Nice. Oh yeah, we're taking the axe. But first, nice. Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Dude. Holy shit! It's cool. <laughs> now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> He's cool. Let's take the axe. Two more. That should help. Indeed. Why 
don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind just you. Just in case this goes to hell. Well, those guys are going to hell. As far as I know. This is awesome. Killing frenzy. Hop! Chop off his head. Whoop. Indeed. Rad. Rad. And the X is still alive. Amazing. Break down door. We can also ask to. Hello in there. Okay. We're here to help. <laughs> Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> you might want to break through that board first. <laughs> okay. Open. Coming out. You do that. Oh, you're a you're bit hurt. Wait. Oh, God. I, I said oh shit. Away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. All for nothing. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told Off you. Off with I her said, head. No way. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My nope. boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Just kill her, man. Boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's <laughs> All not of that and that is what you heard? Wait, just leave me. Please go. You have a boyfriend? What if you turn and follow us back to our group? Indeed. I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. I'll fit her, her hat. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, sure. whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You just do it. Be serious. Do it. No. You made a difficult choice. Nope. Do it. Do it. Do it. Fine. You're all fucking crazy. Hell I've yeah. I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Why well, just don't give it to her? Thank <laughs> you so much. Ground. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why Need not? Gun. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. This is sad. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I'm so harsh. <laughs> oh my god. This is not who I am in real life, boys. real life I do care I do care but but we are taking the car nice everyone all right yeah we had some close calls but Glenn is fine and well yeah we're okay I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car good to hear it and things back here quiet our friend is still in and out of won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yep. I need to show the picture now. Hopefully I can do that now. Um, How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? 
Let's yep. have a look around. Okay. Oh, I need that brick. I can't reach that brick. So I have to take the cane. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Just show him the picture Maybe then. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Well, damn. Just give him the goddamn picture. This is annoying. Let's head back inside. Okay. Is there any other way I can... Let him show that he worked there? No, no. Um... Greeting cards, newspaper clippings. I don't remember them very well. That's so sad. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. <laughs> You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Okay. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Well. She was dead anyway, all bitten up like that. It was over for. Her. You better hope you're never bitten then. No shit. What's your next move? I don't know. Just I mean, stupid to do okay. uh what about your family? To let her live. Yeah, so. I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Papers. Tech Papers a week old. Feels like years. Okay, I probably should take the cane now. Let's see if I can, I can do that. Why don't use the X? Oh, that's not gonna work. I need something from there now. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. TV. That's what I figured. Nothing in on there. Shit, I cannot take the cane. Oh, shit, finger. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. No worries. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Well, I think I have to go outside now. 
the pills Some other are things there. we can do. I talked to everybody. Um, let's go outside again. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. You'll get there. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Yeah, yeah. Now we... Oh. That guy over there has the keys. That's how you do it. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Well, you something with the TVs. Right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Can I? I can't reach that brick. Well, pry this open. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Yeah. Carefully. With the brick? I can't reach that brick. Open the gate a bit. Take the break. Smash the window. Okay. Oh, there's an al alarm installation. That's good. Nice. Okay, hey. I think I have to chop my brother up. Yep. Run and chop his head up. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Yeah, I probably have to kill him. No. I'm sorry. Hey. If you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Shut up. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry we I'm here. But knowing you are to take care of them, that helped. I'm sorry, bud. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. Two times. And again. Oh. Oh. N that's really harsh. Four times? <laughs> Five times. I'm sorry, bud. You were a fighter. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! I know they're coming. Yeah, because you were yelling. You're a. You're a dick. Well, 
now the lock is off. I don't know if they can Man, open the, the gate now. But we did it. It's all that matters. Indeed. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's Thanks. Get in there. This ain't good. Is this mummy? Uh, this ain't mummy. Ourselves a problem, guys. Whoops. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind that me. That name. When you hear me honking in really the alley, start getting people out of here. Duck. You got it. <laughs> Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Uh. Is it good? What to do? Yeah, the cane. Okay. I hope she's getting the cane. Spam and Q. And E, yo, oh, that's not E. I found something. The cane. You're the best. No, oh, Doc. No. Oh. Who to save? Always help the girl. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, dog. Let's go. It's very cool to to make a choice. Come on. And again I saved the girl. What? What? You are dead? How? Let's go! How did I die there? Run! Okay. You're not covered with this, you son of a bitch! What no! the fuck? You are so dead, sir. 
What the fuck? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Thanks, Kenny. What the fuck was wrong with the guy? I really hate him. If I get a choice, he's going to die. He is get going to die. What a dick. The writers did it really good. I really hate him. I'm sorry, dude. Now what? Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Why is she so angry? I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah. Oh, Get over Maybe it, dude. You're right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Later, man. Hope you survive. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have yeah, to Kenny. take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. That Thanks, Ken. You got it. Kenny is awesome. I hope we can uh, stick together. <laughs> I was walking in slow mode there. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We Was you or her of him? Such a, it's just that I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Yep. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. It was so awesome. 
Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. Have you never paid attention to where you leave, Jake? Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like Fuck you. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. I really hate it. Oh, and then. Hey, Doc, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell. And Indeed. my walkie talkie broke. I'm your sit assist. Did you check the glove box? I swear. Oh, I'm sorry. You never Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Nope. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Nope. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. Why do you, hear me? Do you know that? I know you who you me. Are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Okay, respect hey, that. Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. Yin and Yang. Karma is a bitch. Lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. I think this is just the beginning, guys. Keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Is it? Okay. Be fine if we survive the walkers. Next time, this was the first episode. Then I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee, soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's <laughs> farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, we never thought Jenny's kid was fit. You went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! No more, please! I see you guys next week. Bye bye. And thanks for watching.